it's time. It's past time. We're gonna fix this boat or I'm gonna scrap it, one of the two. Now I've got it pulled out. We finally got some good weather for this week. Got my weeds cut down. I'm about to crawl under there and we're gonna find this leak. And I'm gonna patch it, I tip to. Now, once I get under there and find it or see what I can see, I'll uh, get the camera underneath there. It's very, very, very windy here today. The wind advisory, coastal flood warning, the wind's blowing up, blowing the water in. So there ain't no fishing this week anyway, not in the next couple of days. So uh, caught up on knife orders. Everything is on the way to everybody. So let's do this job right here. Then we'll make some more knives. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I have located several spots where these rivets have come loose from when I had it upside down and I just put JB Weld on them. They are too loose to do anything with. And that middle roller is not big enough. I need a wide one like it's on the front, which we'll get to that. And a couple on the other side, I can patch it. I'm gonna have to get a, go through what I've got. I may have to get some uh, strips of aluminum. Now, before anybody says, just take, hold something on one side to rivet and beat it on the other side. Cannot do that on this boat at this point. There's a floor in there. So, I think I can fix it. It's gonna cost me a little bit of money and a whole lot of time. But a new boat or a used boat will cost a whole lot more money. And I've gone too far on this one. It's dirty. Now it's really dirty. It's gotta be cleaned up again. But uh, we'll handle that too. So I'm gonna unhook it from the truck, block it up real good while I'm not worried about it falling over. This um, this runner here is gonna have to come off because it's right dead in the way, as well as the other one. I'll just have to do them one at a time. But, uh, let me get my materials up. And it won't be fixed today, not all the way, but uh, I'm gonna go as far as I can with what I've got and then we'll see what else we gotta do. But I'm tired of not being able to get to the water when I want to get there. I even thought about getting old Nelly Bell in shape again, but you talk about spending some money, I don't want to do that. So. We will get the Wallace 4 going here shortly. All right, day two on the boat leak repair now, i spent most of today in town mailed out a bunch of knives uh, we went uh, to the grocery store and picked up a few things uh, just like bc bc truck said do the odds and ends now Ain't no telling what's going to happen. So, now let me see if I can get down here and show y'all what we're doing here. Now, what do rednecks do? We put things on blocks. Uh, <laughs> now, I've got the boat jacked up off of the runner. And I'm going to have to take this runner off to actually get to uh, where I've got to put the patches. I'll put two patches, one down each side on these rivets here. I went back and looked at the video from when I first started working on the boat. And the ribs run this way. Long ways with the boat. So once I get this runner off, that's not going to be easy, but I can I think I can do it. 
I back the boat up to one side under the shelter, and when I do the other side, I'll move it over the other way. But I'm gonna go in here with my angle grinder and clean all this off. See, that's one of the major culprits right there, if you can see it. And I'll clean everything off good with a flap disc. And I've got some long pieces of aluminum. I couldn't find what I wanted in town, so I'm just going to use what I've got until I run out of it. And I have some uh, thinner stainless steel. I know you're not supposed to mix stainless and aluminum, but at this point, I don't care. This boat has got to float. Because I'm tired of this. So, uh, there you go. So. <laughs> And that roller there, that'll get replaced. Maybe next time. I don't know. Maybe this time. We'll have to see. Things are very, very, very expensive. I did find some metal that would work at the tractor supply. But I'm not paying almost $30 a piece for a five-foot stick of aluminum. I can't do that. So, All right, that's where I'm at. Next step, I'll take this runner off right here just three bolts take it off and crawl back under here with my little grinder and start getting it cleaned up and we'll move on from there uh, I may end this video here and I may not we'll just wait and see alrighty I got the one runner off and it's getting late in the afternoon and mama tells me it's almost supper time so we'll get back on this in the morning and we'll show you some more now I've got plenty of room now to uh, get up under there and get this thing fixed now, thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support, and I will see y'all tomorrow.